general shape was just being made like that. So we are going to make it a bit uh, slim like that. Okay, I want to move it into this part since it was it is a symmetrized part like a bone, right? The next part is also pretty important is I going to uh, tell it's sharp edge. I move into the edge selection mode and uh, go to select sharp edge. Then mm, it seems like that. And I also want to move uh, those parts the same. We keep selection all those, those part. And uh, we can also use only the operation on one side and the another side we can also go to the select and we can go to shift control M. Shift control M. We can choose Y. And then the mirror along the Y axis will all be selected so that we can only need to get the operation into one side and uh, the another side will never be affected anymore. Okay, when those things was being done, we can go to the end panel and uh, we move into the main crease and uh, set to one like that. So when we go to the subdivision mode, it looks like to be that, right? We go to an object and go to shape smooth. We can find there is a line in the middle. So if we go to the problems of it is if we go to the wireframe and go to the face mode, we can find actually there is a face in the middle, so we just need to delete it. We can also go to this one, Alt Z. We can delete them. And another part is, if you think the editing is a little bit not so nice, we can hide them. And then, we move the center part, X3. Then we press Alt J, uh, Alt plus H again to invert height. Then we exit the real time view so that we can see the line in the middle no longer appear. So we can just use it as the basic smooth shapes to make the next level of it. So we can choose whether one or two, but I think two will just be a little bit better. So we duplicate one for the, for further use if the first part we made it wrong. We accept it, we apply the subdivision, and then it just looks like to be that. And we can also press uh, Q and using the sharpen to tell it. So when we go to the edit mode, uh, we just need to, the third things we need to do this, we can apply the subdivision and it looks to be like that and we're using the sharpen again and some areas for example like those one in if we find that it is not nicely being sharped we can manually select them When it was being selected, we go in country shift to M. 
Then we use Q, mark, and we Ctrl Shift M Q S mark. So our part will just be nicely smoothed to tell the smooth part of it. So when the curve areas will just be made like that, we can also add um weighted normal and we check keep sha like that to make it looks to be a little bit nicer. So before we got it down we can use the box cutter to make more detailed part of it. We press dock. This is the uh, decal machine. We go to select the box cutter. And press dock and we're using the cut so that we can just make it a little bit faster and easier. We double click it to cut a very nice shape of it. Then we move to the top view and we can also cut any shape you want from that. For example, like that. Okay, we can also press Alt M. We can also press Alt X. We're using the this one and I'll make the shapes like that. We see it seems to be a little bit too sharp, right? So too slim. We can just make it a little bit fatter. We press Q and the average scroll. We slide this part and move it along the y axis to make it no longer looks to be so sharp, sharp. And we can also move to the add mode to move these uh, surfaces. And uh, for example, we can cut it like that. Uh, but if we want to make the transition between those two parts a little bit smoother, uh, we just need to make it all down, for example, like that. And the top of it, we just need to move from top to bottom and do not make the vertices move too close to each other so that they won't be too, too, too much buggy. And there will be a lot of still a lot of faces we need to fix it and we got it down, okay. So when this was being made, we can edit it to move into that mode. Uh, and do not need to worry about it shading shading since we can just fix it later. Uh, we do not need to always follow its shapes like what's being uh, generated in the artificial intelligence system. We can also add our own ideas. And before we uh, cut more details, it, uh, we can uh, just hold a little bit while and do not collapse everything of it. So unless that uh, some tiny details or host are not able to be jigged, so we have to collapse or apply all the booleans. Okay, I still start cutting another part, and this time we can use in the dock and using the uh, slice, I think, right? And make such one like that. We go to a side 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 move and cut one thing like that. Okay, there's one tiny 